वंस अगेन वी आर बैक ऑन एक मुन सोच की टी टॉक ट्रेन ऑफ एंड थॉट विद सीरीज ऑफ एन एपिसोड विद मिस्टर विकेश वालिया मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एंड द एडिटर ऑफ एंड बोर्ड स्टीवरशिप वी हैव सीन एक्साइटिंग जर्नी ऑफ सर एज फॉर द एफ एम सी जी कंपनी विच आर कंसर्न मे बी एट वर्क विद मोडी जी बैटरी शो वॉलर्स बलसारा गुड नाइट एंड कंसर्नस and that was a part of an fmcg sector where i think uh, if anyone changing the gear and coming out from a uh, comfort zone could have been a great challenge but in case of mikis uh, vikesh walia he changed his gear from fmcg sector to a print industry so you have been there with times of uh, india for more than a couple of and decades so kuch thoda aapko aisa hi laga pe like being part of an fmcg industry and getting into an print will be an challenge or you just took an opportunity <laughs> as you have been taking like as i told you two three things have driven my life my whole career first is never look for money mm-hmm. look for the opportunity mm-hmm. to contribute yeah if you can contribute money will come second is how to identify the opportunity mm mm-hmm. So I was into threads business. Moved from threads to FMCG, mm. hardcore, because I could see that the opportunities in the FMCG business are great, mm-hmm. and they are going to be growing. And therefore, I never regretted that decision. Mm-hmm. If the growth is there, you will get the rewards. Correct. If the industry is not growing, correct. then you cannot get the rewards correct so at every point of time the fmcg industry was growing correct the growth is still continues mm-hmm. but i came across this great opportunity in the print media mm-hmm. i had good reasons to be staying back in mumbai and uh, what i came across was this opportunity with print media although print media had invited me earlier also Mm-hmm. but at that point of time i could see the opportunity was not there mm-hmm. but when times of india invited me in the year 1999 mm-hmm. i knew the time has arrived okay for print media mm-hmm. and it is going to boom what made you think that what made me think was the boom of the electronic channels okay the need for information media mm-hmm. the way it was expanding mm-hmm. and exploding i must say mm-hmm. and print media was also growing mm-hmm. at a it was ready to grow it was not growing very few people could identify and i could see mm-hmm. that yes print media is ready to go full blast mm-hmm. and the moment i met the promoters of times of india the owners of times of india i knew that they have got big plans mm-hmm. and this industry and this company being the leader will benefit the most mm-hmm. and therefore i decided to join them but coming from a multinational company into times of india also that time they were not in a position to Uh, reward me far more than what i was getting at the multinational, multinational companies the opportunity was huge i knew that i am going to get into a critical role in the company mm-hmm. so now here the main point was that are you getting into a critical role mm-hmm. if you are not a critical person in the company yeah then it doesn't matter where you are correct then you are like a piece of furniture lying somewhere correct being in some area being in some activity mm-hmm. but these people they offered me the prime market of mumbai okay so more than 80% of times of india profits used to come from mumbai city only okay although it was a national company mm-hmm. but in other markets they were losing money and in this market they were making about 80 to 90% of their profits mm-hmm. and that gave me an idea that no if i'm going to be in a critical role mm-hmm. i must join this the challenges which yes, are there like. the challenges will be there 
criticality will be there i would not be lost the key management the board will always keep an eye on me mm. so that is why i joined them and then i didn't even ask them what kind of salary increment etc although the media industry was not as financially rewarding as the fmcg industry mm-hmm. those days mm-hmm. so i took the challenge i said okay and then i never had to look back mm-hmm. because i just entered the industry at a time mm-hmm. when it was just exploding correct timings were right like so timings were perfect okay timings were perfect and second thing was that i was in a critical role mm mm-hmm. So if you are in a critical role in the company then you become a very sought after yeah. person all the eyes are on yes. you like all the eyes are on you the more just deliver the result like. the rewards keep coming and that is exactly what happened mm. and i think we could see yeah. couple of decades in times yeah. of india that too was a on a former as a former board member of times of yeah. india so it is an so excellent the company they looked after me very well mm-hmm. and uh, i created opportunities not for them but for myself also by doing different things which mm-hmm. were unthinkable in those days mm-hmm. times group was highly focused in uh, mumbai mm-hmm. i gave them expansion in the other markets mm-hmm. times group was highly focused on english mm-hmm. i gave them reach in the vernacular markets also vernacular markets then the biggest strength of times of india was also its biggest weakness Mm-hmm. Times of India was known as an attacker. Mm-hmm. It was expanding in other markets. It was going to Delhi, disturbing mm-hmm. and challenging uh, Hindustan Times. Mm-hmm. It went to Bangalore. Mm-hmm. It became number one in no time. It became number one in Delhi. Mm-hmm. It became number one in Hyderabad. It became number one in Chennai. Mm-hmm. But then the challenge was that two brands, the media big wigs, were launching in Mumbai. Okay. and the group did not know how to defend oh okay okay because they only knew the game of attacking to attack in different places okay. yes oh they didn't have a defense strategy mm-hmm. so they were so, in the expansion yes. mode like you know so holding the fort in mumbai mm-hmm. and not sparing our markets to the competition mm-hmm. was a big challenge and the biggest opportunity of my life okay Good, great. So, 20... so defending the market leader was a big opportunity. Mm-hmm. So, what kind of a competition you had from the other players, uh, Times of India? Oh, Times of India used to go to Delhi mm-hmm. and uh, challenged Hindustan Times, dislodged their number one position. Mm-hmm. Went to Bangalore, dislodged Deccan uh, Herald mm-hmm. in no time. It went to Hyderabad, dislodged uh, Deccan Chronicle. Mm-hmm. Went to Chennai. dislodged uh, hindu mm-hmm. but in mumbai these companies from z group came dna and from hindustan times came hindustan times yeah they knew the business very well mm-hmm. in collaboration with bhaskar group z group launched dna and it was a phenomenal launch a huge investment and we could see like on all these streets yes. what is in your dna what is in your yeah, dna yeah. and many of them were clueless like hey, dna kya hai so that was the big challenge and that you know made my whole uh, inning so very interesting mm-hmm. so very interesting and print media was growing media industry as such was growing mm-hmm. and i never had a reason to you know take a breath mm-hmm. it was just workload and loads of work Okay. Now, in fact, in your era, like for twenty years, you were there with Times of India, but with uh, uh, last couple of years with COVID nineteen, uh, like you know, what were the challenges as a print media which are concerned? Like, well, as I told you, print media was also undergoing changes. So, I entered at a time when it was ready to explode. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that was in nineteen ninety eight. in 2016 or 17 when i was exiting mm-hmm. that time it was a phase of the market started to shrink mm-hmm. because the print media could take up the challenge of electronics yeah. media correct but print media could not take up the challenge of the 
digital media mm-hmm. that was a very fast uh, you know penetration mm-hmm. and uh, digital media was even uh, challenging the electronic media mm-hmm. and therefore even the print media my last contribution at times group was setting up helping them in setting up the uh, largest printing press mm-hmm. at aeroli uh, and i must say that that size of printing press will never be created again in the whole world oh i see it was such a huge mm-hmm. printing press that we had set up mm-hmm. now with uh, uh, with the change uh, when we talking about the with the advent of and technology and all like you know earlier the business of print uh, was uh, different like but now today scenario with uh, all the social media and then online concept and everything like uh, do you think there is a great challenge for in print to sustain or uh, uh maybe it need not it need not it not take it as a challenge it should understand that times have changed like the music format has changed mm-hmm. from cassettes Correct. to discettes Correct. so those discettes are also gone mm-hmm. the cassettes are also gone mm-hmm. records are gone mm-hmm. everything is gone Correct. So all the the music continues. The mm. news will continue. Correct. But to expect that music will, will be delivered change. on a record player, no way. Correct. To expect music will be delivered on a cassette, no way. No way. Similarly, to expect that news will be delivered through a newspaper next day morning, mm. no way. Mm. Will it be delivered through the electronic mm-hmm. uh, channels? Hourly news or morning evening news as it used to be earlier? Mm-hmm. no way it's instant mm-hmm. it's instant right so you can't uh, change the change oh, it's an exciting like uh, 20 years period in fmcg 20 years in uh, times of uh, india like you know or uh, being part of an media way you have seen at the initial stage uh, there was a boom where you could see some of an opportunity which is there but down the line again at uh, maybe like defending your own territory was in challenge because you were expanding in different places like uh, so that was the one challenge and secondly like at particular period of time that uh, print media was uh, 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 going down like with dna coming into picture like of the uh, times of india but within uh, covid 19 again further challenges are thrown as far as the print media which are concerned like so you need to reinvent again like otherwise uh, you can't survive like Yeah, Times of India was growing. Where even when DNA came and uh, HD came, Times of India remained number one. And we also launched Mumbai Mirror parallelly, and to keep uh, them number three and number four, mm-hmm. we did not even allow them to become number two. Mm-hmm. It was like that. And uh, now the challenge is different because the right. digital media. Okay. What do you think? Uh, is the print media dead or it's still? Uh, it won't die. They can revamp. It won't die. It cannot be revamped also. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. It will continue. It will continue like New York Times, like Times London, mm-hmm. and Washington Post. It will continue. Mm-hmm. Washington Post, the newspaper today, mm-hmm. is owned by the number one digital company in the world, mm-hmm. which is Amazon. Nice. I think it's an excellent. Amazon owns uh, Washington Post, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. Amazon guy. Yeah, yeah. It's an excellent uh, story exclusively on TikTok platform. We are having with uh, Mr. Vikesh Walia. We have seen his 20 years of his career with FMCG and where he had worked with a multinational company and always looking in terms of an opportunity which to exist and coming out from the comfort zone from uh, FMCG to an print media where he's, he was there for an uh, 20 years. Uh, and uh, maybe like he could see an opportunity and he had explored the uh, opportunities on those bases uh, but now uh, in fact again as a uh, dil mange more like you know so the next uh, <laughs> part was uh, part of and corporate governance like i'm sure a story is it's is going to be very interesting story now in our next episode on tea talk ek mun soch ke we are going to catch up with mr vikesh walia on corporate governance Till then, if you like this episode, just go to www.ttalk.net, subscribe and like as much as you can. Till then, uh, stay tuned to Tea Talk. Thank you very much. So thanks a lot for. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shiva. Pleasure. Thanks a lot. My pleasure.